Hey guys, happy Thursday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. So remember yesterday I showed you guys that new Lorac California Dreaming palette that I had just picked up? So I wore it today and I want to tell you guys what I thought about it, um, you know, my impressions, my perspective on like having it on versus what I thought when I was just swatching it for you guys yesterday. So for the look on my eyes right now, which I know I have glasses on, so I'm sorry, it's harder to see, but I'll show you what I used. So first I took this color down here called Cozy, which is just like a beigey skin color, and I put that everywhere, all the way from my brows to my lashes, just to make a nice surface over my primer. And then for my inner corner, I used 65 Degrees, which is right here. For my, what is it called, crease? I'm like, what's this part of the eye? Along my edges I used this hot toddy color that I was obsessing over yesterday. And then all over the lid I used Kitten. And then just to deepen it in the outer corner a little bit I used some of this one called Overcast. So I blended that in. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's really hard with my glasses on. But those are the one, two, three, oh no, one, two, three, four, Five. I used five different colors from this palette on my eyes today for this look. I can't think apparently, but I can tell you that. So yes, one, two, three, four, five. Those guys. And um, I was very impressed. They are very pigmented. They are very blendable. We already knew that was going to be the case, so because that's how Lorac's shadows perform. Um, this one does kick up a little bit. It It's kind of powdery. I'm a little scared to be like too enthusiastic or vigorous with my brush so I kind of dip in gently but um yeah, I feel like I could totally destroy it if I like went to ham on any color but you know we kind of know what we're doing here right so hope for the best so this is what's on my eyes today I didn't use any other shadows whatsoever for my look um and then on my cheeks I decided to add a little bit of intensity I went with my usual combo which is I'm sure I've shown you guys this before but um I use my Stila in medium, which I, I did buy a new one I've shown you, but this is, what I, this is what I'm working with right now because I feel like I should use it up. So that's my contour, and then I used my Balm Desert by The Balm, which also got a new one of, but I'll finish this first. So there, and then there, and then lately I've been obsessed with this Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. That's what I've kind of just been using, so I used some of this today too. But then for some reason I felt like I wanted it a little bit more rosy. So I used this Go Go Golu by NARS. That's hard to say. I don't know. This was their VIB Rouge exclusive shade from last year, I think. I don't know. I got it when I renewed my Rouge status. And it's really pretty. It's really, really, really bright. I like barely tapped my brush in and just put like a speck on either cheek and blended it into the other stuff. And even now I'm like, wow, those are some bright cheeks. Um... For my highlight, I think I combined these two. The Rose Quartz by Becca with the Gilded Honey by, uh, what is this, Laura Geller? I keep these two on my makeup table, so I tend to reach for them a lot. I think that's what the highlight is today. And then for my lips, it's Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. And then of course, always um, Perversion Eyeliner. And for the time being, I've been crazy about the X-rated mascara by Smashbox. I really think it does a good job of lengthening my lashes. I don't have any falsies on and they look pretty good. So mostly I wanted to talk about my first impressions of the Lorac California Dreaming eyeshadow palette, but you know, I guess a full what's on my face video is what happened instead. So anyway, I had a split shift today at work. It was a good day. Um, be back there at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow so I gotta wake up at like six so I should probably end this so I can go you know undo the face and get in my bed but yeah oh it's such a procedure I, I I I like putting my makeup on I hate taking my makeup off I get lazy anyway Instead of sitting here and pouting, I'm going to go do stuff. So I love you all so much. I thank you all so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave me any comments down below if you have anything you'd like to discuss with me or have any questions. And subscribe if you want to because I'm here every day. I love you all. Bye.